So this trick is on the advanced list and this is our head down or chin rest. And what our final behaviour will look like, just the drop, drop, good, head down. You can either put the head sideways or between their paws, so head down, just that, head down, and head down. There we go. Very useful for getting cute photos if they've got their head down. So we're going to start this one. There's a few ways of doing it as with everything. Um, Jasper's originally learnt is just as pure free shaping. Um, I was having coffee with a friend, he was young and being annoying, and basically he would lay down, but every time he put his head down, I'd click. And he very, very quickly got that head down behaviour. Another way of starting it is to do it as a chin rest. And the easiest way to do that is grab some treats and a clicker. And all we're going to do is present our flat hand underneath their chin and click. But even just the briefest amount of time and then start to extend that time. Until we get that chin rest. So it's very much like a, a touch, which may be another way of getting it. If they don't like you originally going under their chin straight away, you can actually start it as a as a touch and then you just slide your hand under a bit, which is another way of doing it. Because some are more happy there and you might just have to move a tiny bit underneath. You can name this. Um, just that actually has it named in two different ways. So he has his chin, means put your head on my hand or whatever I've offered. And the other one is that head down when he's in a, in a down position. You can call them both the same thing or you can separate them out. It's up to you. For the purposes of the trick, uh, chin rest with duration, just that we've done on that. Chin. And just hold it for three seconds is fine. Or you can show it to me where your dog is in a down and they put their head on the ground. And again, just hold it for three seconds. So just drop, head down. Good. So either of those works fine. As always, video your training sessions, see how you go with things. It's always handy to look back and, and see what went well and what didn't. And you can use those videos to ask for help if you're struggling as well. So have a go at that and show me how you're going.